Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to perform the incline barbell bench press. And yes, I'm actually going to use a decent enough weight that it could break my form down if I'm not careful, since I'm going to go ahead and use 100 kilos today for this. Just for demonstration purposes, this lift isn't actually in my own routine at the moment. Now, I would recommend that most of you watch the bench press tutorial first. It's in the same playlist so that you get an idea of the basic mechanics because the lifts are very, very similar. Now, a couple of mistakes that people make on the incline bench. The three biggest mistakes I see are they don't have their scapula fully retracted. To get a proper stretch on the chest, they tend to set the incline too high. And either one of those, if you go above about 45 degrees, either one of those situations in and of itself takes the shift off of the chest and the upper chest and puts it more on the delts. So you're essentially doing a delt exercise. Now the incline bench is already very, very anterior deltoid dominant, but it does work the upper chest very, very effectively. And it can be a fantastic lift for someone with a lagging chest. And then the third mistake that you see people make, and if you notice, if you look at all the guys on YouTube who put out training videos, there's a lot of the guys, there's a handful, I won't name names, because so I'm not gonna be a dick, who have very, very lagging chest, but they have fantastic shoulders. So you see them from the front, they look great, nice, good capped delts, better delts than me on the sides, at least in proportion. But then when they turn to the side, they disappear. They hit a side chest and it's just flat, straight down. It just their chest looks like an ironing board. And that's the people who do not come all the way down. They not only do touch and go, they don't even touch. So that they end up just doing this and they skip the, the bottom few inches of the rep and they claim, oh, it's because it hurts my shoulders. Well, it hurts their shoulders because they don't know how to grip the bar correctly and they don't know the proper bar path. Now, obviously, you can't go down here on the lower chest on an incline and yell you're at a very, very shallow angle. So you're gonna have to go higher up the chest, but you don't want the bar way up here. What I recommend is about one inch above the nip one. If you get the incline set right, you can still touch right here. And I recommend that you pause with your scapula retracted because that's what's gonna activate the most muscle fibers in your chest. And what happens is that if you put the brakes on it on the way down, it causes more flare. It puts stress on the, the rotator cuff. And you gotta say, what even hurts my, my shoulders a little coming out of there, so I can't go any lower. Well, it's because you're putting the brakes on it and the bar's too high up your chest. And when you do that, it causes you to flare more when you slow it down and it makes the delts take all of the load. So your chest gets none of the load. Whereas if you to bring it all the way down and stretch the chest by touching the chest and you pause on the chest, the pecs have to contract to get the weight moving and it's going to recruit them a lot more effectively, massively more so. And if the guys would just follow these tips, these guys who have the lagging chest who still do incline barbell would get that. And always pause on this. If you want to get a stretch reflex, do dumbbells. And I'll do a video on dumbbell incline bench press later. So let me demonstrate for you guys just the basics. All right, now obviously I have a makeshift bench here, so it's going to look a little different. Than you're used to it doesn't have a pad to sit on all right you pull yourself up get a very very small arch and the reason you need that is so that your traps are mostly in contact with the bench and you can get the shoulder blades pinched together really tight and i also recommend that you get the bar this way so that your elbows can pop out just like i demonstrated on the bench press video you want elbow tuck at the bottom and you won't flare at the top and that's going to save you a lot of stress on your rotator cuff and it'll let you actually reach the chest correctly so you get the bar, get the bar tight, unrack it, let it settle, take a deep breath, come down, tuck the elbows at the bottom, pause, think about a girl, some video games or whatever, drive it up. Deep breath, elbows tuck, pause and flare it at the top. So again, that's your basics, and I'll give you guys a side view so that you can also see what's going on there. <clears throat> All right, and when I do this from the side, you guys get a better idea of what the setup looks like, what the bar path itself looks like. So you can see where it touches on the chest, and you can see where it locks out at the top. So again, get settled in good, get tight, scapula retracted, set on your traps. deep breath you touch it right above the nipples about one inch above the nipples pause 
elbows are tucked, drive up and flare up. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the basic barbell incline bench. It is one of the better overall mass pullers for the upper body, and it is particularly effective for the whole chest, but, but uh, emphasis on the upper chest and the interior deltoids. And that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.